Hello, my friends! Welcome to Danny's Talk Show. This is Danny Scrapaldi speaking. Today, I'm gonna be interviewing Ana Carolina Tsukishiro. Hello, folks! Welcome to the talk show. <laughs> oh, you know, it's my pleasure being here. You don't, you don't imagine how glad I am. <laughs> I imagine because I'm also extremely, extremely happy to talking to you, to interviewing you. People, my friends, Carol and I, we have, we have history. We have history. We met some years ago, literally. Some years ago. Literally. Yes. In an employment line, you know. <laughs> That's <the> amazing. <laughs> And we made the interview together. Do you remember? We did, yeah. Half Portuguese, half English. <laughs> yes, crazy. Was so a you see, time. English has always connected us. Yeah, since the, uh, it started from the bottom, now we are here. Yeah. Well, you might be asking yourselves, oh, but in an employment line. Okay, yes, both Haro and I, we are teachers. We are English teachers. However, we didn't, we didn't meet in an employment line for an English teacher position. No, no, no. English school, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We've met when we were interviewing for the cruise job. Huh? You know, guys, remember Gaspar's, Gaspar's interview? Check it out. Yes, Carol has already worked on a cruise. Carol has already worked on a library. She's majors in languages focused in English. She has already worked as a sales assistant as well. She has been a teacher since she, she was 18 years old, that's right? Yes, 18, 18 years old. Let me ask you, yes, the obvious question, as you guys already know, how is English in your life <laughs> nowadays? You know, uh, the English in my life, it's, uh, it's a big deal. A comedy program that uh, they called uh, Monty Python. Monty Python, yeah. Monty Python, British, yes. British, show. British one, British one. I saw a, how can I say, a chunk of this program and I say, oh my God, besides, uh, they are very uh, enthousi enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. uh, this language is amazing. <laughs> I need to learn how to teach and I start, look at this crazy oh, thing. Oh my. I, yes, I start to talking in front of the mirror. <laughs> like just uh, whomever. imitating, whomever. whomever, imitate the phrases and so on, uh, creating an outer <laughs> ego. <laughs> People, look at this. What is this? Look at our t-shirts. Let look me, like, yeah. uh, let me, let, let's show my t-shirt, you know? Do you recognize it? Joan fucking Jet. Yeah, and beefies and butthead, guys. Wow, wow. Why we are are we wearing this this kind of t-shirts today, guys? We're gonna talk about the Riot Girl movement. Dennis, Carol, what is this? Well, watch the interview until the end, and you'll get to know it. Please yeah. stay until the end, okay? Otherwise, you won't learn anything. Carol, how can you explain yes. the Riot Girl movement to our fellow audience? And how has it changed your own life? You know, it's a big duty uh, to, to, to talk about and explain about the Riot Girl movement. All this has been changing my life, all this. But let me, let me explain a little bit uh, what does it mean, Riot Girl movement and so on. So let's go back a little bit in the early of 90s, more or less around this time. 30 years ago. Go 30 years ago, the golden era to me. So, golden, golden age. The Riot Girl movement uh, began, as I say, in the early 90s, more or less. And everything started uh, when a group of women in Olympia, uh, they held a meeting to discuss uh, how to address uh, an, an important issue we call sexism in the, in the punk scene. So, the woman just decided uh, that they wanted to start a girl riot, a punk voice, uh, a mm -hmm. punk voice to say, you know, guys, all fellas, you are here. We are here. So please just listen our voice. And this movement is about to be against the society because they felt very offered, no validation uh, of women's experience and thus uh, the Riot Girl movement, uh, how can I say, 
uh, this movement rises with again to smash the patriarchy, the, the men's society, especially the music. So by the punk scene, a bunch of girls say, okay, come on, just listen to me minute. because wait a minute, I have something to say. So basically a bunch of girls say, we can do it. So just hold on. I got the goosebumps, my God. You know, Dennis, that I was about 13 years old when I heard Rebel Girl from really? Bikini Kill. And after that, everything changes, everything. Rebel Girl, yes, from the band Bikini mm -hmm. Kill. Guys, you should, you really should know. Spotify, YouTube, Deezer, yes. everywhere. There is a movie as well. Uh, Moxie. So, yes, yes, Moxie by Netflix. <laughs> It's a cute movie, you know, it's, it's, for, movie. it's for beginners, let's say. A movie like in the high school, the girls are just facing, uh, well, they are facing a lot of prejudice and, and sexis, sexism in the school. They just get to know Bikini Kill and other fem uh, all female bands uh, there, like in the 2020s, you know. So yes, it's never too late. It's never, never too, too late. late. Rebel yeah, Girl by Bikini that. Kill is considered an anthem. Why would you say so? It's so strong, so amazing. So powerful, because powerful so lyrics. So powerful, yes. In, in many ways, this lyric, he basically empowered, Empower yes, and broken all the establishment about being a woman, you know, living in a society commanded by men, white men, and straight one. It's a rebel yell this this lyric can you tell us some uh, some other bands that you remember x-ray specs from police chirene is a band from london uk we got babies in toyland uh we got the marvelous one l7 uh we got Le as well Le Chigri. we got Cress is a, a punk band a female punk band from uk we got dress cheek we call the heaven breeders. to betsy the breeders the gifts is lights we can say blonde as well because it's the different why not? The male one yeah, yes why not? the runaways john jet the runaways john jet it's a little uh, older yeah yes it's not exactly the older. riot girl movement yes but it's, it's like the grand the grandmother Let's the, the mother, grandmother. The, grand, the mother yeah the mother the mother yes better say this movement. way the mother So we got uh, we get a, a plenty of bands that make yeah. with this this feeling to to struggle against society. Yeah. And later on, guys, uh, some years later, Brazil entering the game, you know, because we have Conceitor Sexy. Con yes, thing. well done. And yeah. we got Dominatrix. Uh, well, Dominatrix, yes. Uh, well, uh, we got the as well uh, a band, a, a punk band from Brazil, Mercenarias. Wow! Yes. Yeah. So as uh, anthological. People. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is culture, guys. Culture. If you guys want to know the basics of the Riot Girl movement, open open your Spotify right now and just just type Riot Girl playlist. Do you recall the first real first all female band you have ever listened to? I remember right away, right away, the exact moment wow. when I was so MTV and I saw a short interview with the lead singer uh, from L7, well, Donita Sparks. Donita Sparks, my queen. And one of my queens. Yes, oh my god. And her attitude just blow my mind. Just blow. And she reminds the activity voice of a movement that gave space to women. So, uh, before Bikini Kill, L7 was making some beautiful gigs. Yes, do you remember that they came to Hollywood Hawk in Hollywood. 19... They played yes. on the same night of Nirvana. That Kurt Cobain was. It was a horrible concert, the Nirvana. The Nirvana. A horrible one, yes. But L7, oh, ah, Jesus, wow. Yes, uh, every time that I that I saw that, that that I see that flyer, I I I I start to think with myself, oh gosh, I would <laughs> like uh, born like uh, 10 years ago just to watch uh, yeah. this show. But, <laughs> to... but my friends, do you see this person here, Dennis Crepaldi? Yeah, I went to an L. Yes, you went. Concert. I saw Donita Sparks twice. 
don't lose the chance to watch Pretend We're Dead. It's a documentary on L7. Yes. On L7 career and everything. Yes. You too, guys. Pretend We're Dead L7 documentary. Well, as Carol has already mentioned, fun scenes, my friends. The fan scenes, they played a great part in the Riot Girl movement, yes, in the 90s. However, it has started in the UK around the 70s. Yes. What's your take on them and what's their importance and relevance in the 90s? Actually, Fanzine was a self-writing. It's basically an alternative magazine, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, you can find like a poetry, different point of view, but walking in the same way to the revolution, right? Wow. Girl uh, one, hashtag one. I, hashtag I think one. It, hashtag one, this is the first one, was just blow up because uh, Kathleen Hanna uh, came so strongly, so powerful. Just a curiosity, guys. Kathleen Hanna had already had some affairs with Kurt Cobain and Dave Grohl, if you don't know. Yes! We cannot, we cannot talk about riot girl movement, we cannot, about, we cannot talk about feminism, sexism, without mentioning some important people, such as Simone de Belvoir, right? Course, she was a, yes. French, a French writer, political activist, uh, she was a lot of things, guys. She wrote in extremely important books. If you guys, now, because nowadays it's a topic that people discuss a lot, yes, thank God, it's finally. it's pretty available. Feminism and sexism. Her. Yes, you about this. Simone de Belvoir is just is the, the basis. What's mm -hmm. your take on, on Simone de Belvoir and oh my uh, all God. the important people? Simone, uh, she got a, a a really important phrase that in one of the one of uh, her first public publications, the second sex, ne? The uh, second sex. She, yeah. Yes, uh, she said that we don't born as women, we become women. By the way, let me tell you, I'm a book, I'm a, how can I say, addicted to books, you know? You're a book lover, <laughs> book lover. I'm a book lover, yes, and I, this is Simone, Beauvo uh, Simone de Beauvoir, all Look right? This beautiful, beautiful face, yes, my friends. It's a, it's a box from, wow. as you can see. Opa. Yeah. She was a, a big figure, she was a big woman, and she's still alive in our heart because she just spread the word for we yes. became like jesus christ she's like word. jesus christ yes the <laughs> i was joking with my friends you know jesus christ was the most punk in the whole world <laughs> he was the first he was the first punk rock the first the first one like um hanging out with some horrors, some like yeah. uh, for people. <laughs> exactly. Simone de Beauvoir brings us to show us how to live, basically. Uh, be a woman, but don't be silly because you got a wow. voice. And music is part of my life 24 hours a day. I yes. teach my classes and I have music all the time playing on my speaker, all the time. It's and important. I, I, and I'm sure for Carol as well. Yes, In, I basically um, learn English by by yeah, listening the music and songs, try to yes. translate it some and that's Me too, it. exactly. How do you see this music scene over the last 20 years? And hmm, this is an obvious answer, but have women gained more voice over the years? We are right now. It's not the ideal scenario, but we are like, uh, how can I say, moving steps, you know? Yeah, baby steps babe steps we are in a babe steps so we need to resist we mm -hmm. still until still and until we need to resist so it's much better than before but it's not the ideal yet now okay nowadays if you if you ask anyone who is a very powerful woman in brazil anita 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 oh but you know try to wear my boots because i can tell you that I'm a woman, so I'm, I'm, I'm able to say that is Anita a strong woman? Yes, he, she could be a strong woman, but what message she's passing to, this, to the generation? The royalty girl movement is about to break the establishment. Yeah. Yes, uh, I'm not look like Anita. I think that she is a beautiful girl. Uh, yes, she is, but she's like a standard one. So... For me, uh, to me, like, uh, be a pretty woman, a beautiful one, I need to be like Anita. 
I want to Guys, be. We don't have to follow the standards. What society yes. asks us. Yes. Fuck authority. Fuck society. Oh, come fuck on. Fuck society. Man. Yes. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> Judas Priest. Oh, Judas, Judas Priest. Breaking the law, breaking, breaking the law. The law. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yes, yeah, so you know, for you. Don't be just another one. Don't be like everybody one. else. No. Be yourself, no matter what. Because we need to resist. We need, we must, every day. Everyone counts. Everyone yes, counts. if you resist, you count. If you resist, exactly. yes. So spread the word. Spread the word. Spread the know, word, with, yes. With your friends, in your college, in your school, uh, in your household. Talk to your parents, you know. Try to broaden uh, their horizons, you know. Talk about talk about it. Just talk about talk it. Talk about it. Because the language is everything we want. We, communication. We own. Yes, it's our communication. So our obligation is spread. Carol, so many, so many young girls uh, have been wanting to have their own voices heard. Lots of girls. What could you say to them? First thing, don't give up. Don't give up. Secondly, be be yourself no matter what. Uh, the third one, resist. Yes, because you got a voice. We are, because you know, uh, it's difficult to be a woman in a society. In Brazil, much worse. So, I am Brazilian, you know, uh, I'm here. We we are. I, I'm not. I, I'm not talking about this matter. But we are in a political situation that it's pretty rough, rough times. Yeah, rough times. Rough times. So I can tell you, my girls, boys and girls, just be yourself. Don't fear. Yes, resist. Go ahead. Tell to the world that you are here. You got a voice, and the show must go on. <laughs> The show must go on, yeah. The Queen, show must go on, Queen, fellas. And also Pink Floyd. Huh? Yes. Do you think, people, that our interview is over? <laughs> Not at all, because we have a... Oh, game. my God. Hello. I am going to share my screen with you. <laughs> Not just a screen. I'm going to share myself playing some songs. Wow. And you have Big to... Dennis. You have to discover. You have to tell me... Okay. You have what two points per per song? Why? If you if you guess the name of the song is one point, and if you guess the band is another point. The name of this game is Riot Noise. This Riot this Noise. Game. Riot oh Noise. God. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I gonna can. play. Tell me, uh, just give me a, a th thumbs up if you can hear. Uh -huh. What song is that? Wow, don't seem strange to me, but oh my god. I'm gonna give you a little uh, tip. We have talked about this band today. Of course. I don't know if it's L7 or. No. Oh my god, no. It's... Five seconds! Brett Mobile? Oh, <laughs> it's, uh... oh my god, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> you lost. Babes in first. Thailand? No. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so. I'm it's so okay. awful. It's it's just, I, I start with a difficult one. This one is from the distillers, Drain the Blood. Drain the Blood! I'm living on steady faith. Can the lights to restrict your breath? Never been a better time in this. What I can recognize the video, the video clip. Remember, she she yes! like gets out the of a, of yes! a manhole. <laughs> awesome. It's okay. Yes. It the game it tends to be to get easier. All <laughs> right, not. please or help not. me, okay? <laughs> now there is a funny bit. Oh, <laughs> 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 there was a there was a fucking my fucking neighbor. Was fucking break a fucking wall during like Always. while I was playing. All I was the so in the world really, it's just it was breaking, the wall, breaking the wall, breaking the wall, <laughs> breaking the <laughs> breaking the wall is the <laughs> Okay, next song. Are you ready? Yes. Let Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's 
Look, my voice is so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving. I'm loving. <laughs> well done, amazing this game. Next one. You know this one like, love it. Let's go. Vai martelar na casa do c****, filha da p***. Dave is so pissed off. It's a band that we that we mentioned it today. Very quickly, very briefly. I'm gonna help you with a little riff. I know this band. Oh my god. I know, I know, it's it's my it's in my tongue, but I can ver I can verbalize it. It starts with the the band the the the, the baby's in Thailand? No, 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 no. I know, no, no. Oh, Dennis, I cannot remember. Oh my no gosh. No problem. The Breeders Cannonball. The Breeders Cannonball. I heard many times, but you know, sometimes the words missing of my mind. Carol is under pressure, guys. Carol is under pressure. It's like yes, yeah, I'm nervous. Difficult. Look at my hair. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this hair. My god! Yes. And you guys can see more? my my lack of abilities in the guitar. But okay. <laughs> ah, Dennis is a musician. It's a good one. Yes. <laughs> I love. When I grow play. up, I, I, I want to be play. like you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like you. Come on. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We are awesome. One more? Yes. Não, é martelar na casa da sua avó, filha da This is babies in Thailand, or not? Yes, correct. All right. Okay. What song? What? But that's my problem. I'm gonna help a little bit. Sweet, sweet. I know I'm going to give band because I always remember the band, but to the real names. No problem. I can't remember no problem. properly. This is a pornographic uh, name. Sweet 69. Sweet, yeah, Sweet 69. Sweet I remember this. One. 69. Okay, now we have a special. We have a special. Special. Three, th uh, three songs from the same band. Okay, let's go. Three songs from the same band. Of the songs, do you remember? Yes. Uh, 
the last one was uh, pretend we are dead. Yes. Correct. Yes. And the second one, I guess one of one of these are no fake friends or shit list. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, but it's a very aggressive one. Yes, the, yes. the second. Uh, uh, oh, Danny, it's so sad. It's, I can't no, it's, this it's hard. It's, the names of the songs are hard. Feel my fire. <laughs> And the first one is the most difficult of the list, Everglade. Uh, Feel My Fire, it's from Hungry from, uh, Hungry for Stinking. Yes, people like you just feel my fire. Fire. Yes, no, wow, this song is amazing. And we have a bonus, just a bonus track. Wow, I just love it, this game. Ah! Let's sing. <laughs> you can she sing because I sing too much. Now it's the chorus. Rebel girl, rebel girl, rebel girl, rebel girl, rebel girl, she has the queen of my world. Rebel girl, fuck yes. Wow, that's a lovely game! Do you like it? I hope you liked the, this I to see me play. <laughs> oh, you know, you are you are just a, a, a multitask boy because you are a musician. Uh, besides being a, being a teacher, uh, and you are a, now you are a, you are a host from Danny's talk show. Uh, you are also an amazing friend, an amazing human being. So many, so many oh, qualities wow, for on. only a person. <laughs> Ana Carolina Tsukshiro. I cannot express how much I loved this conversation. I cannot say how much I have appreciated your, Whoa, your companionship I can, uh, here. Uh, I can't find words to tell how much I appreciate as well. Wow. Um, I'm very glad uh, to contribute it just a little bit with my little knowledge for your big talk show. Vast, vast so knowledge. I was looking forward for this, was pretty anxious. So I, I might be like uh, sleep on in some words, fellow audience, but uh, don't take me to cereals, yes? Please. <laughs> <laughs> and as Carol and I, we are always thirsty for knowledge. And I, I do hope you guys too. So yes. watch this interview and research everything we talked about. The bands, the writers, uh, all the, in, the influences. Get some knowledge because the knowledge is the most powerful gun that you got. Knowledge most is power. Knowledge, knowledge is power. And it, nobody can take this from you. Nobody. Yes. Nobody can take my gun, you know? That's my knowledge. So be careful. Yeah. Hello. Thank you so much for participating. For it's my pleasure. My yes. Uh, Such a not lovely you know, conversation. It was a lovely conversation. A lot of joy that's important nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, are you, we are bringing joy for the people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Talk Show. Okay. Yes, don't, don't forget. forget to, don't forget to follow us here on Instagram. Yes, at Dennis Talk Show. And please put here on the comments uh, your connection with Riot, the Riot Girl movement, the bands you love. Thumbs up. It's important. To uh, keeping this amazing Dennis Talk Talking Show moving forward. Yes. Yes. We need help, me guys. Need, help. Me. Yes. Yes. We need I hope I can bring you guys in. every week. A uh, different issue, a different topic to be discussed, different awesome guests such as Carol. So help us. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, please. This Carol, was thank you so again. nice. Thank you very much. It was amazing. Goodbye, guys. Thank you very much. Peace. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> please be safe and sound. Safe and sound. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes.